<laughs> my friend Dennis. Having been, you know, you know us, you know me and my brother. How would you just how <laughs> <laughs> How would you describe us? What's your opinion of us? <laughs> uh, uh, you guys could be assholes, <laughs> to be honest. But they're pretty good guys. Except you block their shot. I bought Jimmy's shot one time. He got pissed off and quit. Did he not, Bob? Did he, Bob? Did he get pissed off and quit? He quit. That's a lie. Yeah, that's not a lie. <laughs> to be honest with you, Dennis did block my shot once. But it was from behind, I didn't see him. Bullshit. <laughs> then Bob smacks me. <laughs> which he had done many times in his lifetime. I whipped his ass for many years. <laughs> till he, prob probably till you about maybe 16 years old, I whip his ass. I let him play basketball. You may know this story. I don't know. But just in case. He was seventh grade. I was... What, senior in high school? Take him play basketball with me. Seventh grade playing varsity basketball. This guy, the reason he broke the records is because he, he was on the varsity when he was in seventh grade. Well, oh, goddamn, give me seven years, crying out loud. <laughs> but, <laughs> what? what? What was I saying now? Come on, I, I like that. Uh, basically, you were uh, why I was a good basketball player. That's the reason he the was good, because I was good. Hey, Jim. Yo. We're going down to the snake pit to get the box. What, are we? Let's go. I hope you are. These things right here, they're full of piss. <laughs> <laughs> get those out of here, Jim. <laughs> they have they have, they have fly. They have seatsy flies in there. <laughs> seatsy fly. Okay. Uh oh. I see they shit. They look at King Chit and the Golden Boys right there. She like. The, the box of shit. The box of shit. Look at King's hitting the Golden Boys. Right oh, you here. know what? This is like not good shit. Because all the good shit's been used. This is the box of shit. But there's always something good in it. There's always something. You, you always find some shit. Yeah. Take what about, you have any old photos and shit? Take, there's probably photos in there. Take that, please. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. My mom used to get this, like, series of magazines called Story of Life. I just got to get a lot of album covers from this. Why she got it, we don't know. Yeah. Well, no, because, so I can make album covers. That, that, well, yeah. Yeah. That's one of <laughs> Look at this dog. Barking through the trees, man. All right, you never know when you might need a dog barking. Barking at the moon. Photos, photos. Naked fat baby. <laughs> Did you see Naked Fat Baby? <laughs> naked Fat Baby. <laughs> oh, this is here my day for a cover. It's like, okay, but it's like, it was like, there was this like, somebody like here with like, the, where their, eyes, fake, were, their yeah. eyes were cut out, and so like on the side of the cover, you turn it, and their eyes are a different color the whole time. Yeah, this, that's cool. This, this cover never came out from Sensational Gravity Boy. And look, it's brutal. Oh, Nightwalker, yeah. brutal. Look. It used to be freak. It used to be yeah, freak. The original cover freak. freak. Oh, look, look, look. Early, early shots. Yeah. Early <laughs> shot. Rex one. Rex one. Rex one. Look, Rex two, man. Uh, after the gorilla. Look, emerge from the wreckage. St stand among the wreckage. Emerge from the wreckage. Smirk look contribution. That look at smirk contribution, gentlemen. Look at that smirk contribution. <laughs> Who's that? That's some silly bastard. Look at that. Look at that. That's, uh, what is that? Tropical robot? It might be. Look, look he's throwing that ball up right there. Anybody's watching. You know what's weird about the picture is it's like he was throwing something up. Yeah, like he that. was. No, no. no, it's right here, Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. So here's the back cover with the original B-1000. It was called Hardcore UFOs. It was like unreleased song stuff that was not. Larry Keller. Larry Keller, stuff that did stuff that didn't make our albums. This is when I had my. This is when I was like. This is the section where all the little uh, little teenage male prostitutes hang out right here in Dayton. Yeah, and I was sitting there and did some photo sessions when I lost a lot of weight and thought I looked good, so I could put on my got stars and stripes shirt, you know, and be John Cougar Mellencamp. But that was that day. Okay, this is a this is a button. It's a guy that my voice is button that never materialized.
sponsored by UCB, whatever that means. Eight o'clock. That's you know you know on propeller where it says, "Is anybody ready to rock?" Yeah, yeah. That's what that comes from. For a song. Yeah, that's what they, that comes from that show. And we did like GBB in the studio, but the part where they you hear like a band actually hear a band, you think it's a band playing live. It comes from that. Is anybody ready to rock? Hey, this is a classic live at your yeah, house. Live at your house. Got <laughs> my voice is live at your house. This is one of the mail, early mailbox tapes, the humble decoy. Which every look, it's one twenty eighty five. Recorded on one on January twentieth, nineteen eighty five. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at this one. Bro. The tired school of thought. Hey, you gotta go through this notebook. This is like nineteen eighty three or something. Something like that. It's got like, don't tell anyone. Pollard Fennell Mitchell, eighty-three. Wow. Okay. Uh, Ruth. Give me a line from one of the songs. Just a line. Ruth, there's a lot to be said for the truth, and I'm willing to lie for you, Ruth. That was always a uh, female favorite. Look, Murphy had a birthday. That Murphy a had a birthday. Nineteen eighty-two. You come sit before me. I've been waiting for you. That might come back one of these What's the game, Master John? Have you been through walls and windows? Which is hardcore UFOs. Okay, a logical banker. There is a feeling that is deep in the heart. Okay, I won't be the foolish one. Which is gelatin ice cream plum. Off of static airplane job. How's that? Lying awake as the day and starts to break, break and it's all I can take in insanity's test. <laughs> it was a mad room resistance, better than a baseball game. Beautiful plastic, I see it everywhere. Flowers, cars, jewelry, girls, I see it everywhere. And it's the lifeblood of society. And it's every man's propriety. And I surround myself shamelessly in beautiful plastic. Beautiful plastic. We cherish its pseudo qualities. It molds the pathway. We understand it. Chorus. And it's the lifeblood of society. And it's every man's propriety. And I surround myself shamelessly in beautiful plastic. My sister liked that one. My sister dug that one. That's how I knew it sucked. Yeah. That's not terrible. Don't put that. Hey, hey Bob, you miss Cyclops.